Good morning, second graders. We're going to go ahead and do our vocabulary today a little bit differently. So let me get my screen shared up here. Okay, so this week our anchor text is titled Ah Music. So it is an informational text, even though when you get into your anchor text today, you'll notice that there are drawings. We have an illustrator this week, but it is an informational text. So we're going to be taking a closer look at music this week okay so we're going to do this just like we do in the classroom okay I'll say the words you'll say it after me we'll talk about it we'll clap the syllables the only thing different is we can't do the raise your hand if you know if you've heard the word before keep your hand up if you know what the word means since we're not together in the class so our first word is creative I say it excuse me I say it you say it creative okay let's clap the syllables and create creative together. Here we go. Creative. Creative has three syllables. Now the root word in, or base word in creative is create. Okay, so the root word or base word of creative is create. So to create something means to make it. If you create something, you make it. So the meaning of our word creative this week is original. It's something unlike anything else. You have made it, it's yours, and you are the creator of it, and it's original. Okay, I say it, you say it, creative. Our next word is performance. I say it, you say it, performance. Let's clap the syllables in performance. Performance. The word performance has three syllables in it. And again, the root word or base word of performance is perform. So if you perform something, you're putting on a show um, for an audience. So a performance could be maybe music played for an audience. It could be a play. It could be a type of... Um, singing competition. Okay, so a performance is just something that you're performing typically, oftentimes on a stage for a large group of people. One more time, I say it, you say it, performance. Our next word is concentrate. I say it, you say it, concentrate. Let's clap the syllables and concentrate. Concentrate. Okay, concentrate has three syllables. We have a lot of big words this week. So the word concentrate this week means that you're paying attention to something, okay? You're not paying attention to any outside distractions that might be happening, okay? You're focused solely on what is in front of you or the task at hand. I say it, you say it, concentrate. Our next word is relieved. I say it, you say it, relieved. Let's clap the syllables in relieved. Relieved. Relieved has two syllables. My root word or base word of relieved is relieve. Okay, so when you feel relieved, you maybe you were worried about something before, and now you're less worried. You're not you're no longer worried about something. You're free from worry. Okay, you might feel a sense of relief. I say it, you say it, relieved. Our next word is vibration. I say it, you say it, vibration. Let's clap the syllables in vibration. Vibration. Three syllables again in vibration. The root word or base word of vibration is vibrate. So the word vibrate means to shake back and forth. But this week, our meaning of the word vibration is a movement that's made by sound because sound can actually make a movement. So this right here, we see this movement. It's moving very quickly, but they were able to capture and focus on that movement and get it caught on camera. So it's showing that movement. So this is what it typically looks like, but then this is the movement that it's making with the sound. I say it, you say it, vibration. Our next word is tune. I say it, you say it, tune. Let's clap the syllables in tune. Tune. Tune has just one syllable. Tune is a multiple meaning word. This week the word tune is like a melody. Like if you have a song that might be stuck in your head, you might be humming a tune or a song. It's a melody. Um, but the word tune can also mean you might need to tune a piano or make sure that instruments are in tune. So that means that the, the note that they're making is the same. So that way it's not out of tune. I say it, you say it, tune. 
Our next word is volume. I say it, you say it, volume. Let's clap the syllables in volume. Volume. Two syllables in volume. Volume, again, is a multiple meaning word, okay? Because volume could mean, um, in science, when we measure volume, we're measuring how much something can hold. But since we're learning about music this week, volume is simply how loud or how quiet a sound is. So, for example, if the TV is too loud, I might say, turn down the volume. I say it, you say it, volume. Our next word is expression. I say it, you say it, expression. Let's clap the syllables in expression. Expression. Three syllables in expression. My root word or base word in expression is express. Okay, so when you're showing expression, you're showing feelings. So, for example, if you are reading something and it's sad, you might read it in a kind of a slow, sad voice. If you're happy, you might be smiling or read it quickly. So, when you're, when you're showing expression, you're just showing your feelings or your emotion. I say it, you say it, expression. And that is our last word for this week. So, in your packet of things for this week... In your packet of things for this week, I included our vocabulary pattern puzzles. Um, what you'll need to do, I didn't have the time to get them cut apart and put in a Ziploc baggie, so you can help me by cutting those apart, putting them in a Ziploc baggie, and then when you're finished, maybe matching them up or doing any of your vocabulary work this week, please make sure that you put these vocabulary words back in your baggie with your other games. Okay, so... Stay tuned and we will read our anchor text in just a bit.